What's going on, Jerome's? So your general manager, Kwesi Dofamensa, is absolutely cooking with gasolina right now because he secured quarterback of the future without giving up uh, number 23 or the future first rounder and also made an, uh, another move up to 17 to get a pure talisman on the edge in Alabama's Dallas Turner. Roll Tide. Uh, that's right. Now, the Vikings uh, did give up 167 as well as a future third and fourth rounder, which we'll get into, but d don't care. D do not care at all. The Vikings have $100 million in cap space and are projected to have a, a future third round comp pick because of Kurt Cousins uh, and also I don't know, maybe, maybe some tampering picks. Who knows? But uh, the, the Vikings landed uh, Nick Saban's last great edge rusher from Tuscaloosa. Roll damn tide. So the Vikings having a quarterback as well as a guy who gets a quarterback, and I I'm ecstatic about it because Dallas Turner has an opportunity to, to be a, a true elite, elite, elite edge rusher in this league. I uh, turned 21 in February, 6'2 uh, and 3 quarter, 247, former four-star recruit from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, took his talents to Bama, immediate impact as a true freshman, eight and a half sacks uh, in 2023. Uh, his final year with the Tide, uh, 55 pressures, 10 sacks, 81.6 PFF grade, uh, recorded a sack in his last three games, which are pretty significant. The Iron Bowl, the SEC title game against Georgia, as well as the playoff semifinal against Michigan, which Bama lost because J.J. McCarthy looked really damn good. Woo. That's right, man. First team All-SEC, uh, co-SEC Defensive Player of the Year, as well as Consensus All-American. Combine, uh, even though short, light, uh, uh, 949 RIS, uh, 44640, 40 and a half inch vert, 10 foot, 7 inch broad jump. Uh, and he is, he is souped up, he's racked up, he is stacked up, and somewhere Brian Flores is smiling right now. Uh, uh, scouting report from Lance Orland, NFL.com, NFL.com, Brian Burns. We'll take that. A long and athletic with the explosive traits needed to become an impactful NFL pass rusher. Turner's first step quickness and elite closing burst are important building blocks, but he still needs to work on his process from point A to point B. He hasn't learned to create the space and angles needed to consistently attack the edges, but that should come with better hand development and more diversified approach. A team will be wise to widen him out and allow him better runway to ignite his burst and overwhelm tackles with his speed. He's added 20 pounds since coming to Alabama, but he, he struggles at times to stack and shed run blocks or set a firm edge. Turner's frame and game are much less developed than Will Anderson Jr.'s coming out of Alabama last year, so he could take time for him to make his mark as a starting 3-4 outside linebacker. But you know, this year, you know, Turner did show that he is his own man because 2021, 2022, a lot of people thought, well, is he the Robin to Will Anderson's Batman? But Dallas Turner proved that he is indeed Batman uh, himself. And he is short, but long arms, huge wingspan, lightning quick first step, elite closing speed, uh, as well as uh, a frame that could uh, stand add more weight. Uh, raw, but effective as a pass rusher. Uh, career 14.5% pressure rate. Uh, and also he is the prototypical 3-4 outside linebacker for Brian Flores scheme and right now so the vikings they, they have been very active on the edge so daniel hunter left joined the texans but jonathan grenard coming from the texans same thing with jihad ward funnily enough uh andrew van ginkle is a bit of a hybrid can play on the edge can play off ball and it could be a spot too where Dallas Turner spends his rookie season as a rotational guy, you know, coming in on passing downs, a very much a situational pass rush only type guy, and that's fine. Uh, I think eventually he will become a three down uh, linebacker. Uh, but I mean, the Vikings, th this is the not effing around crew. This is Brian Flores saying to Quasey, we need guys who can get the passer. And wh what's beautiful about this is the Vikings landed. 21-year-old in J.J. McCarthy, turned 21 in January. 21-year-old edge rusher in Dallas Turner, who turns tw 21, turned 21 in February. And they're both guys that are ascending. Uh, and also, I mean, th they have a chance to be very special at their positions. And also, they're the two most important possessions in all of football. Passer and get the passer. And I'm... I'm ecstatic. I mean, frankly, I, I would have been fine if the Vikings, if they would have passed on quarterback, if they were just taking Turner at 11. But the fact that, so so yes, the Vikings don't have a second, third, or fourth rounder next year. Don't care. F those picks. Uh, but the Vikings, most importantly, did, didn't give up the 2025 first rounder, which is important. But they got the quarterback of the future and, and a guy who can become an elite, elite pass rusher off the edge. I love it. I absolutely freaking love it, man. I, I really do. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings land, Alabama, Ed Rusher, Dallas Turner. Roll Tide. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull.
production value.